Magma is an audio effect plugin that combines micro-looping, granularization and distortion, allowing for the creation of everything in between dark drones, shimmery textures and weird percussive timbers. It is the first plugin of the Totem series, a new collection of plugins with a strong character and unconventional processing capabilities, with minimal interfaces which encourage a dialogue between the users and the tools themselves. The number of parameters is kept to a minimum, but also designed to interact easily with the complex nature of the effects. Taking a look at Magma's interface, we can easily spot more common parameters such as the simple EQ in the lower left area, as well as the mix controls on the opposite side. While we go throughout the other dials and buttons, let's also talk a bit about how the plugin works under the hood. Magma is constantly recording the incoming audio in a short buffer, which is then read by multiple playheads which move in an odd linear way. Instead, Magma grabs portions of the recorded buffer and shuffles them before playing them back, outputting a texture which is in fact the result of rearranged fragments of the input signal. The length of such buffer can be set using the sides dial. Changing the size affects the density, meaning that a longer buffer will create a more scattered effect, while a shorter one will result in a higher amount of overlapping fragments. The speed of the read playheads can be set using the rate dial. This results in a change of pitch, while keeping the buffer's length and texture density consistent. Different grade values can find their best application according to different musical contexts and sound sources. Melodic sounds and tones are likely to sound more interesting with round values such as 2 or 0.5, while atonal timbres such as drums and percussions can be twisted in pretty interesting ways exploring odd numbers in between. It's also possible to engage a feedback circuit which takes Magma's output and records it back into the buffer itself by blending it with the audio input. This feedback is handled by memory. A value of 0% allows no old signal to be recorded into the buffer, while a value of 100% equals to the buffer being not refreshed at all, indeed freezing the buffer. The same effect can be obtained by pressing the freeze button on the right of the dial. All of the values in between 0 and 100% will result in a different balance between the old buffer and the incoming audio, allowing for a gradually smoother and swarm-like effect. On the left of the memory dial, we can find the row button. Magma applies a simple envelope follower at the very first stage of the processing chain, in order to make the input smoother and accentuate subtle changes in the output dynamics. However, it is possible to disable such envelope follower by turning row on, which results in a harsher timbre and becomes especially useful with really short input signals which can get lost in the smoothing process. The controls in the lower part of the interface are for parameters that act post-buffer in the processing chain and can be used to further shape the tone of the output. On the right side of the EQ we find temperature, which controls a distortion engine. What temperature does is boosting the level of the output, adding warmth and vibrance. The higher the value, the more distortion is applied. When reaching the higher values of temperature, a noise-based amplitude modulation is gradually introduced, in order to create a rumbling effect.
On the right of temperature we can find the mid-side dial. Mid-side is generally used to balance or isolate different parts of the stereo image of the output. A value of 50% equals no changes to the original balance. At 0% only the central portion of the signal can be heard and at 100% only the side components. Please note that, due to the nature of the mid-side processing algorithm, when mono sources are passed throughout magma, a value of 100% will result in a completely silent output. In magma, mid-side exists not only for its stereo sculpting nature, but it's also used to make a sound heavier or lighter, controlling the weight of the texture in space. While magma might be easily disregarded as a granular reverb, its structure is such that it makes it possible to use it as a powerful sound design tool, able to generate textures capable of serving different musical purposes, either as important background details or as main elements of a track. The versatility of the plugin resides in its strong character and easily fits different workflows making it a great choice for producers, instrumentalists and electronic musicians alike.